Previous hybrid recommendation models often take back of words representation as input and ignore the word order. In this paper, we wish to model the text in a more natural way, that is, to take in one word at a time and model documents as sequences. We would like to jointly model preferences and sequence generation under the Bayesian deep learning framework. Besides joint learning, we propose to use wildcard denoising to produce more robust representation. So what's wildcard denoising? For example, here denoising means recovering the original sentence, this is a great idea, from the corrupted sentence, is a great idea. If we directly use denoising in RNN, the model will learn the wrong transition from the word this to the word A. In wildcard denoising, we use an additional word wildcard to represent the deleted word. This way, the model will learn the correct transition from this to wildcard and from wildcard to A. Besides wildcard denoising, we propose to use beta pooling for variable length sequences. For example, if a sequence has length 4, since we're using autoencoders, we need to pull 8 vectors into 1. Hence, we need a weight vector of length 8 to compute the weighted average. However, if we use another sequence's length 3, then we need a length 6 vector. If we have a sequence of length 2, we would need a length 4 vector. It seems impossible to directly learn a variable length vector. So in this work, we propose to use the area of probability density function to define the weights. For example, with a given distribution, if we want to pull 8 vectors, we can cut the PDF into 8 parts and use the area of each part to define the weights. If we need to pull 6 vectors, we can cut the same PDF into 6 parts, and since we are using beta distributions, we call this beta pooling. Here is a corresponding graphical model. The red part is a recurrent open encoder with wildcard denoising and beta pooling as the perception component. The blue part is a task-specific component to model the ratings. We call this model collaborative recurrent autoencoders.